Okay, so that's kind of fun and whatnot. Julie mentioned that I did a little bit of a video. It was a test in Camtasia 9 to do kinetic topography. I'll go ahead and put this link in the chat box if you haven't seen this. It's kind of fun. But at a couple of points in the video, what you'll notice is that I have text and then I have some art or imagery inside of the text. And I did this in a couple of places here. For example, here uh, I have a map, and then map is part of the graphic here. Uh, but in this particular case, I did an extra little trick, and I'll see if I can kind of explain this to you without hurting anybody. <laughs> So here I kind of have a, a final bit of a slide and what you'll notice is that I have an image underneath, okay, and then this punched out text. In this particular example, we merged the image into the text, but here I punched out the text and that which is underneath shows through. So, in essence, it's kind of like doing the inverse uh, of what we just kind of demonstrated. And that's essentially a technique that kind of leads uh, to this particular effect. So, let's see if we can rack through this a little bit. Let's, uh, this time, go ahead and start off with some text. And this is basically just, you know, again, I just use big, bold font of text and I made it pretty big. Okay. This time, instead of a picture, I'm just going to insert a shape. And I'm just going to use a rectangle. And I'm going to draw it over top of the text. And let's go ahead and right click on this and send to back. So now I kind of have the same thing, only instead of a picture, I have a shape and for this particular one again I'm going to select the shape hold my shift key and select my text so again the secret sauce here is I have both of these things selected now again that brings up my drawing tools and a format tab where I get merge shapes and this time instead of doing an intersect what we're going to do is what's called a subtract so in other words it's going to take this particular object and subtract it so what we end up with is kind of a punched out where the text was that which is underneath will show through right in other words this will be transparent and in this particular case, I'm also going to go to the shape outline and get rid of the outline, right? Because I had an outline, a stroke around the, the text there. So now I got this deal. So one of the things I could do is just save this as a picture again. And that's going to give me a blue kind of image with text that is transparent on it. If I wanted to use this in PowerPoint, one of the things I could do is here I have me a, a set of lips. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'll paste it here. We'll right click on this guy and send him to the back. Okay, so now if I wanted to use this in PowerPoint, I'd probably want to resize this a little bit and, you know, just kind of position things so that it looks good. I'm not going to belabor that too much because it takes a little bit to kind of, you know, get this lined up so it looks good. So I could uh, certainly do that kind of a thing if I wanted to use it just in PowerPoint. But in this particular case, what I did for the video was I saved out my, my lips image and then once I punched out the text here, so my background here uh, in this part of the video is gray. So basically, I want my mat here to be gray as well. Here I would just save this as a picture. And what that's going to do is it's going to save this punched out 
text. So let's go over to Camtasia and I'll show you how I a little bit about on how I put that together. So here are my lips and here is my punched out PNG that we just kind of whipped up in PowerPoint. Uh, so let's add this these lips to the timeline right and let's zoom in a little here there we go get a little bigger view so you got your lips because it's tempting it's temptation right and then on top of that I'm going to put my already colored little asset here and you'll notice that hey it, it shows through right so that's basically kind of the scoop there and then I can just work on placing this and sizing it right and if you'll notice in the video when you watch it I actually animated the lips underneath here a little bit so they kind of zoom in like you're being kissed I'm not going to get into that too much but that's basically you know how I pull such a thing off it makes it a much more interesting piece of text that almost kind of comes alive in, in certain cases and, and this is just kind of one of the little tricks you can use to pull such a thing off let's see so you would then be able to put an animation on the lips if you wanted to as Julie yes in Camtasia 9 they have like behaviors and it's kind of easier to do but you know I could just um, I will start set our starting position here and we'll just make it real quick in so I want to start from kind of small lips and then at some point here uh, we'll just add an animation I'm gonna press the Z key and we will make it bigger there we go and if we scrub through that it just kind of like that okay in fact what I might do is the starting here I might even like change the opacity to zero again this is a little more advanced but what the heck so here let's set the opacity to zero and then as it scrubs in and fades in it smooches boom <laughs> Yvonne asked do you always use PNG I uh, usually save images to JPEG I usually use PNG and if you want this transparency thing to happen you must use PNG JPEGs are not do not support transparency so this punch punched out text here would not happen so you can't do that if you want transparency you, you have to use PNG and PNG is in general a little better quality little higher quality imagery so I generally save as PNG right JPEG is a more compressed format which means that anytime you compress something be it an image video audio or whatever you suffer a bit of a loss in quality PNG is is less compressed than JPEG in general uh, let's see also you could put in a motion background that would be cool okay let's do that that'll be fun so here let's go ahead and go to the library and we'll just grab one of the themes oh let's see like calling lights this is one of the animated backgrounds so we'll drop that on the timeline I don't really want the text in there so we'll get rid of that so now basically what I have is just animated background right so these are just little bubbles and let's put our punched out text on top and since it's an image I can make it as long as I want and there you go I'll go ahead and let this play and not talk 
so I don't break up on you guys. Pretty sweet, eh? So there you have that. Right. <laughs> Thank you.